A historic story of irrigation solutions, October 24th, 2016. Du Jiangyan Irrigation Project From Qin to China Why China was united by the Kingdom of Qin Since 221 BC, China has been united to be one nation by the Kingdom of Qin. The civilization of China has been going through until today with no stop ever. But why it was Qin, a small kingdom located in the west corner, could conquer many kingdoms and made Qin to be China. In 310 BC, Qin made a strategy firstly to conquer the kingdom of Ba and Chu at the upstream of the Yangtze River and then conquered the kingdom of Chu by the convenient transportation of the Yangtze River. After that, conquer all other kingdoms. In 256 BC, Qin conquered Ba and Chu. They decided to make the upstream area Chengdu Plain as the agricultural production area for their further wars. The King of Qin dispatched Mr. Li Bing to be the governor of Chengdu for the development of agriculture. At that time, Chengdu Plain was divided into two parts by Minjiang River, which is a branch of Yangtze River. Minjiang River originated from the Min Mountains. It flew through the Chengdu Plain and joined Yangtze. At the upstream of the Minjiang River, there was a mountain named Yule. The river was blocked by this mountain and could not flow into Chengdu Plain. But big flood always brought disasters to the people and crops at the North River Bank because of the silting problem. Mr. Liebing and his son decided to open a canal at Yule Mountain and led the river into the plain by gravity. Mr. Liebing started this project at the bending point of Minjiang upstream. They put rocks into bamboo cages and threw thousands of these cages into the river to create an artificial dam like a fish mouth. One side of the fish mouth was called the inner river, deep and narrow. The other side was called outer river, shallow and wide. So during dry season, about 60% of the water flew into the inner river and 40% into the outer river. During rainy season, 40% of the water flew into the inner river and 60% into the outer river. However, they had to open a canal on this mountain. The mountain was huge with all hard rocks. If only by men labors, it would be very difficult, even impossible. Mr. Li Bing asked the people to fire the rocks by wood and pour water onto the hot rocks. The rocks cracked and split by themselves, thus made the work going easier and faster. After eight years, they made a huge canal with 80 meters in length, 20 meters in width, and 40 meters in height, called the bottleneck. The water flew into this bottleneck by gravity at 330 cubic meters per second. When the water flew to this bending point, it turned around counterclockwise at the river cross section by the force of the mainstream the water flew spirally forward. When the water came to the artificial dam, all mud and sands under the water were thrown to the outer river. Only clean water on the top could flow into the inner river. But there were always some mud and sands that needed to be discharged. Mr. Liebig lowered the end of the dam and called it Sandy Fly Weir. Mud and sands would fly from this weir and flow into the outer river. The clean water flew into the canal. Even so, 
the mud and sands would still build up at the inner river. In each dry season, people had to clear the river bottom. Li Bing put a stone horse out of the river as a standard depth mark. The workers would not stop taking out the mud and sands until they saw the stone horse, no more, no less. After this project finished in the year 248 BC, Minjiang River kept flowing from the canal into Chengdu Plain. It irrigated 200,000 hectares of farmland. The previous dry land became fertile. The Chengdu Plain became the kingdom of paradise with no drought, no hunger. Now, the king of Qin got enough food to satisfy his military army. He started wars against the other six kingdoms. Qin's army force wiped out millions of the enemy troops. 230 BC conquered Han. 225 BC conquered Wei. 223 BC conquered Chu. 222 BC conquered Zhao and Yan. 221 BC conquered Qi. Finally, Qin established the first United Nation in the year 221 BC. The country's name, China, originated from Qin.